I'm Paige. I'm here with the Central Kootenai Invasive Species Society. Hi, I'm Jess, and today we're going to learn how to identify and manage Scotch broom. Scotch broom is easily identified by the bright yellow pea-like flowers, green woody stem, and the dark brown seed pods. This plant here is still flowering and has not set seed pods yet this year. On this plant over here, you can see the dark brown seed pods from last year. The seeds of this plant can be spread by vehicles, machinery, and human activity. The seeds germinate best in disturbed soil, so activities that cause soil disturbance allow the plant to spread further. Small plants like these can be hand pulled as long as it doesn't cause soil disturbance. Larger plants like this can be cut. Be sure to cut as close to the base as possible to avoid re-sprouting. If the plants you are removing have seeds, you'll want to remove these before moving the plants around and put them securely in a clear plastic bag to avoid spreading the seeds around your property. Removed plants should be disposed of securely to avoid further distribution. Do not compost plant waste or seeds as the seeds can remain viable for many years. Okay, the best way to prevent the spread of scotch broom is to avoid spreading the seeds on your vehicles, equipment, or boots. And don't use this plant in your garden. Check out the CKIS website to learn more about Scotch Broom as well as the Play Clean Go and Grow Me Instead programs. Thanks for watching our video!